Hello and welcome to the channel. We've got a, a brief update for you here today, just related to Application Insights V2 and some correlation feature flag that we've enabled. So let's go ahead, let's jump right into it. So we did launch what we oftentimes refer to as V2 uh, in general availability last year. Really, the purpose of it was just to improve on the schema, enable some more consistency, also give customers more levers in terms of filtering, filtering at source, just to help reduce costs, uh, you know, downstream in your in your storage. And so, since we've launched that uh, capability, that version. Uh, we have had some feedback recently around how we capture the operation ID field. Now, there might be some situations where this uh, is an impact to you. There could be situations where it's not an impact to you. It kind of depends on, on sort of what other services you are using. So by default, we will populate the operation underscore ID. That's the field. That's part of the request table. And we will include the run ID of the actual workflow itself. So if you have a lot of, um, say, workflows where you know you say are scheduling, or even you've received it, um, you know, from like a file or, or things of that nature, you know, this might not impact you at all. But if you are receiving requests through Azure API Management, which you likely should be, uh, then this could cause an issue in terms of how do you correlate these events. You certainly can still do it inside of Application Insights, so I don't want this to sound like it's completely broken, but there's definitely some additional complexity in that. And so the purpose of this feature flag is to really simplify that correlation for you and will allow you to seamlessly see the context being passed from API management to logic apps to Azure Functions as an example. And so if you are using that pattern, then you should consider enabling this feature. Now, this feature is off by default, and the reason for that is that we would, if we automatically updated this, we would alter the behavior of existing customers, which could lead to some breakages, and we certainly don't want to do that. So this is an opt-in feature. You do need to be on V2, number one, to, to use this, this feature flag. Uh, and if you are on V2, then it's something that you can enable yourself and then subsequently there will be a restart of the app required for these settings to be picked up. So let's talk a little bit more about it. So this is the default behavior. This is when you're using the default behavior of, of V2. You can see here that we've got the following scenario. We've got a client application that calls an API hosted in API management and then there's a workflow that calls a function app. Now, all three of these services are using the telemetry, uh, the same application insights instance. So all of these services are pushing that same telemetry. Now we can see here that when an execution runs, that we've got some different operation IDs. And this is what makes it a little bit more difficult to perform this correlation. And you essentially need to do some joins yourself. And you can see the various records here. We've got an API, then we've got our logic app records, a function app, and then we've got some more logic app records itself. And so with these values being different, that's where this complexity does emerge. The other thing that happens is if you look at the application map, that your function app will be broken. Uh, well, not broken, in, but in, the correlation will be broken. So it'll be on an island, which isn't ideal by any stretch. So here's what we want to do is just I want to walk you through how you can go ahead and enable this feature flag and subsequently, um, you know, you can fix this. Now, one thing to note is if you do want to, maybe you're setting this up for the first time, you do want your context to flow correctly between API and logic apps. We do recommend that if you go into the API, you go into the settings, you do enable the correlation protocol to be W3C. Uh, that will simplify things on your side. And then the other thing that you need to do is, number one, you need to be running on V2, which I talked about before. That's this first line. And then subsequently, here's a new line of configuration. I'll add this to the video description, but basically you're going to set preserve incoming operation ID equal to true. When you go ahead and do that, then we will preserve that operation ID instead of using the run ID itself. 
And then the end situation is you should be in this particular point where you've got the correlation and it is lining up correctly across APM, logic apps, and function apps. So let's go ahead, we'll dive into a demo here. All right, let's start in API management as I discussed before. I've got the API I'm exposing. I'm gonna click on settings and when I do so, I can go ahead and make sure that my correlation protocol is set. All right, the next configuration we need to set is we need to go into the host.json. Once again, you can do this at source code in VS Code, or you can do this in Azure Portal. And so if we go ahead and hit developer development tools, advanced tools, and then go, we will launch Kudo. And then what we can do is hit debug console CMD, and then go ahead and navigate to site, www root, scroll down to the bottom, then go ahead and edit the host.json. And then here, you wanna make sure that you've got these two settings. This is the new feature flag right here, the preserve incoming operation ID. This V2 makes sure that you're using the V2 version of application insights. Okay, so that's, uh, that's kind of the configuration. You will need to make sure that your app does restart. So do plan on uh, a brief disruption while that takes place. And then we can go ahead and call our, our process. And so once again, we've got an API, we can go ahead and test, and we will just pass in some values and uh, receive a response. So we can go ahead and, and do that. We've now got a response, that's good. Let's just take a look at our workflow. Our workflow is quite simple. We've just got a HTTP request trigger. We call an Azure function. We pass some data and the Azure function is going to return us back some data, basically the discount value, and that's gonna be returned back to the caller. So now let's head over to App Insights and let's take a closer look at our telemetry. All right, so I'm in Application Insights right now. I've gone down to the log section. I've then just changed my time range to be the last 30 minutes. And then I'm just doing a requests, uh, sort by timestamp descending. And we can see basically all of our telemetry that's flown through here. Now, what I have done is I've moved over the operation ID and the operation underscore parent ID. Those were further on the right, but I've now got all of these. So they're all side by side. Now, what's important to understand here is we've got our first record, that's our API management call. And then we start to get into the logic apps and the trigger and then the subsequent actions. And then we call the Azure function. And then we've got a couple more actions inside of Azure logic apps. Now, what you'll see here is this operation ID is now the same, it's all consistent. So it starts with the API management instance and it flows through our logic app and the function app as well. Now, if we head over to the application map, and then once again, let's just uh, set this to be the last 30 minutes. Once again, we can see much like in the slides, this is our API management instance. And then we've got our logic app, and then we've got our function app. And so now we can see that the correlation is lining up correctly, and we can see those requests flowing through our solution. So yeah, that's the demo. Uh, hopefully this helps. I would suggest that if you are using V2 and you haven't sort of done any sort of customized work or custom dashboards, that you do go ahead and use this feature. As I mentioned, it is opt-in. So uh, you won't, uh, so you, this is something you'll have to take care of. We won't impose it on you. But I think if you do are using these services together, it does make sense to, uh, to use this particular feature flag. Thanks again, we'll talk to you soon.